Imagine this. It's 2011 and you're in school. You can't wait for the school bell to ring. There is only one thing on your mind. Your brand new iPod Touch. But then finally the bell is ringing and you can go home to the only problem that you know during this time in your life. What to play first. Maybe Doodle Jump. You decide to play this one first. Do you remember the design of that little guy? Is he an elephant? Is he an alien? Is he an anteater? It doesn't matter, he's cool. And his game is even cooler. The different maps, the different power-ups and the enemies. This game just looks and feels amazing. Motion control? On your phone? You feel like it's the future. After a couple rounds of trying to beat your high score, your friend calls and wants to come over. You beg your mom and she says yes. A couple minutes later, the doorbell rings and he's there. And what else are you guys gonna do than play some more games on your new device? What about Temple Run? If you lose, you let him play. And if he loses, he hands it back to you. You could do this for hours. The game is just amazing. The weird monkey monsters chasing you, the temple ruins, the atmosphere, the combination of swiping through the game and tilting your phone. This has to be the best game ever, right? You say to your best friend. But his answer is... I know an even better one. The name of the game is... Hill Climb Racing. You download this game and start to play. And only a couple minutes in you realize that this game is actually a lot of fun. Your friend needs to leave for dinner, but you still continue to play. From now on you spend hours and hours to get better cars, better stats, but it takes forever. But then you find the ultimate cheat code. The moon map. From now on you don't care about homework anymore. You spend most of your spare time on this map to stack points and get the best possible car combination. And then you finally reached it. What to do now though? Maybe relax a bit by popping bubble breath? Okay, this is fun for a couple minutes, but got boring real quick. What game to download next? Angry Birds. This looks kind of fun and wow, wow it is. This game doesn't have any motion controls or some other fancy feature, but it uses its entire creativity with only one finger and one motion. The design of the birds and the enemies is super cool and the different powers the birds have are really awesome to play around with. The red one just flies. The yellow one gets a little boost when you tap him midair. The blue one splits in a lot of tiny ones and the black bird is literally the bomb. Every level gets harder and harder but finally you beat the game. You loved it. Everything about it. A movie about this would be fun. You think to yourself while scrolling through the app store again. You hear some kids were talking about a game about a ninja slicing melons? So what is that all about? Ah yeah, Fruit Ninja. There you go. This game looks super realistic for a mobile game, you think to yourself, where you start to slice pineapples, melons and mangoes. What a concept. You're absolutely eager to reach the best high score anyone has in school. So you better keep playing all night long. Now, 13 years later, all of these apps seem so simple to you compared to the technology and games you are using now. But for some reason, these are the games that will always have that special place in your heart, no matter how simple they were. But don't be sad that it's over. Be happy that it happened.